Hi there. In today's devotion, I want to take you to Matthew's Gospel, chapter 15, verse 8. It says, These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are but rules taught by men. This is prophet Isaiah prophesying in his book, and Jesus is referring while he was talking about the traditions and God's command. And what we gather from this passage is that Jesus is very much concerned about the condition of our heart. You know, Jesus talked about worship when he said, the Father seeks people to worship him in spirit and in truth. So there's a way that people worship, that is they think that they are honoring God and with their lips they say, but when you check their heart, their heart is too far away from God. What is a heart? You know, heart is the center of intellect, the center of emotions, and the center of human will. And these are compiled together, what we call the heart. And that needs to be in the right way. That needs to be in the perfect condition. You need to guard your heart. You know, in Proverbs chapter 4, I read in verse 33 or 23, it says, Above all else, guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. It is almost like, you know, you have the fountain, and the fountain head is blocked by all the dirt and dust, and it closed up, and the fountain head is closed. That is the same way heart is... Uh, a wellspring of life. You need to keep that heart clean and clear so that it will bring out life for you. So how to guard your heart? How to guard your heart is the question that we ask when Bible says, above all else, guard your heart. A heart that is left by itself is in danger. But a heart that is dedicated to God is useful. It is called the regenerated heart, a heart that was given into the hands of Jesus. And that whole heart, that is your intellect, your emotions, and your will, is given into the hands of Jesus. And he takes care of it and, and regenerates it and brings life into it so that everything that you uh, meditate, everything you experience in your emotion, everything that you decide in your will will be that is of what God desires. And then it becomes a worship. See, worship is what God desires is that we have to keep our heart closer to the Lord. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are but rules taught by men. See, there were so many commands and commandments uh, for the Israelites and the Jewish people, and they added up so many rules and regulations, but they could not uh, keep their heart clear because Jesus says, these people honor me with their lips. So there's a possibility that you can worship God with just your lips, but then God desire us to worship him from the bottom of our heart. That is the true worship that God seeks after. When Jesus was talking to the Samaritan woman, the question turned to Jesus. It says, my people are worshiping in this mountain and your people are worshiping in Jerusalem, which is the right place to worship God. Jesus said, a time is coming. People will worship the Lord anywhere and they will worship the Father. But Father seeks people to worship Him, not according to the rules and regulations of people that made up rules and regulations of men, but it is about your heart worshiping the Lord in a true way. Worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. So this morning, I want to encourage you that check your heart. How is your heart condition? You know, when our physical heart gives some trouble, we immediately go to the doctor and check it out. If there is something blocking, we try our best to, you know, get it out of its system so that our heart will work right. And it's the same way, spiritually speaking, our intellect, our emotions, and our uh, will has to be aligned together under the will of the Father, under the will of Jesus, so that we will be able to have a heart that is pleasing to God. So worship the Lord in spirit 
and in truth. May God bless you as you enjoy this day worshiping the Lord. God bless you.